Hello and welcome back to the channel. Alright, so last episode we got Carson out of his machine of Lum the Mad. Fully expecting a fight after the embarrassing myself with the dragon playing around too much and getting smacked around. Prepared myself for a big fight, then embarrassed myself thinking I'm going to have a high level mage fight. Then all that time buffing and he got to walk away. So after going to bed, I was like, well, the next episode we're going to do Lum the Mad, or we're going to do the uh, Lum the Mad Machines uh, buffs and pull all the levers. So I went and I watched Mifsan NT's video of the same level and everything that I did. I wanted to see how he did the dragon and everything, but luckily in that video I found out something that I missed. So my my buffs are not Fine, going to be in vain. It will be done. Fortunately, Very we don't get well. to take our summons, but they wouldn't do us any good here. So we're gonna teleport all the way down here because I missed this little door. We're gonna do a quick save, and we're doing this quickly because buffs are burning. And in this room, we have got her stuck. A demi lich. So my buffs were not in vain. However, probably shouldn't have come in here with everybody. <laughs> yeah, probably should not have come in here with everybody. But what is it now? So I'm gonna send Animan in, and I'm gonna send Balak Indeed. back. I'm going to send here the lease back. We're going to put the Mace of Disruption on Animan. Because this... Oh, you know what else? We could send Hair to Lisa and just... Hopefully we got to be careful here. Because the, the Demi Lich will imprison. And this particular Demi Lich... He has... Protection from energy. He is 90% immune to all physical damage. He is, he's not magic uh, damage resistant, he is not magic resistant, but he is immune up to spells to level 8. And he's very much like Kangax, but uh, we should still probably get out Daystar and there we go. And we have to put this on Herod Delise because Salak cannot get imprisoned. And I don't think I have any more protection from undead. If we do, we'll send in Salak. You know what? I have Ring of the Ram. Because this does magic damage, pushes the target away, there's no save, and it'll work against him. So you go in, you go in, Balak, use Ring of the Rim, start. He is not fire resistant, so... Because he doesn't have very many hit points. I mean, he's only got 50 hit points. Get back. Alex using the ring. Give me a Firestorm. I don't have Firestorm. Okay, okay, that's fine. Animan, just get in there. Hey, at least get back in there. Only six damage from that ring. Right, 
he used imprisonment on Herdelis. So, Nalia, give me a freedom. Oh, that's right, he has Demi Lich Howl. That's, uh, we do have death magic protection, do we not? Nope, we need it though. Anamin, do you have? Yes, you do. With all speed, comrade. Do it. Prisonment on Herod Elise once again. Weird day. Oh, Daystar is a plus one. Not Daystar. Um, Mace's Mace of Disruption. That's right. Well. For honor and glory, Helm guides my. Oh, power. wait a minute. Is are we gonna be able to get hair least Okay, hang on. We need to rest. We need to cast freedom. How can I help? Is Herod at least going to refuse to join my party once we get him back? Oh man. Don't refuse me. I see my wandering raven has come to light once again on the sparrow's perch. He's refusing me. You piece of shit. Yes. Like, there's no reason. Fuck you. Alright. Alright. So basically it's just gotta be Anvin, huh? What is it now? Very well. Go get him, Anvin. Since he can't imprison Anvin, not a whole lot he can do to me. Yes. Pretty lackluster, but hey, I mean, that's 55,000 experience. And we get some, we get 20,000 gold. It will be done. Get a manual. Hey, Delisa, I should kill you. If he gets removed from my party, he's not coming back. I should kill you. You unhappy with my party? Drop your gear and go, scumbag. Anyway. Dagger of the Star, plus four. Five percent chance of making the user go invisible for one turn after each successful attack. Not even excited about that. Uh, just so many things can see invisible at this point. Yeah, that, that was not an exciting item. A manual. What do we get? Greater Grimoire of Demon Binding. This is the second Demon Binding book. Upon use, the book disappears to re reappear somewhere else across the plains. Okay. I'm not using these, man. I don't want my alignment to shift. Each time the character summons and binds a fiend, there's a 10% chance that his alignment will shift towards evil. If he is already evil, there's a 10% chance... His soul will be forfeited to the distance of lower planes. Summoning the mightiest of fiends only increases the risk. When using the gate spell, the chances are increased to 25. Yeah, we have lesser binding. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not excited by those. Oh well. We we didn't waste our buffs. That's that's the point. That's the point. 
very well. All right. So now on to the machine Indeed. of Lum the Mad. If you insist. So I did watch, I did watch uh, Mifsan and T do his, do his, um, his playthrough or this section. I thought there was more to it, but there isn't. This machine just basically increases all of your stats by one. And you do them individually. So, and anyone can do this. Anybody can do this. So what I want to do is I want to we'll quick save, we'll rest. I'm gonna let all my buffs fall off. And we're gonna take a look at everybody's everybody's stats. Take the gloves off. Back on. I was a little. I wanted to see what his dex was without the gloves. Now it's giving you strength and dex without. Without the gloves. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Hair Delise. If we give Airy wisdom and intelligence, I think she'll get more spell slots. I think somewhere in the level three area. Which I don't hate that. Maybe actually it'll be better for Emmeline. No, I think we'll do the intelligence, maybe even the wisdom for Aerie. Because, oh, you got another slot. I think it's Doom, actually. And here. Yeah, silence, why not? Yeah, I think we'll do Intelligence and Wisdom for Aerie because it, it should give her somewhere in the ballpark of a level 2 to 3 spell slot. Um, I want another move Paralysis. Maybe another death warden. Man, we missed a lot of spell slots on her. Embarrassing. Another chaotic commands. You know, I think we're going to give her an Entropy Shield. I think we're good there. Uh, even though I like Regeneration, I think it is time 
to give her shielded the Archons. Because she does not have spell shield. And I'm missing... Oh my god, I missed her lip. What? Oh, I'm so... I am the worst. Holy crap, I'm the worst. How did I forget to do this with her? Oh. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah, give her... Do I want another spell turning? No, oh, we've got three. Let's play with the prismatic spray. I can't believe I forgot to give her stuff. I'm just the drizzling shits. Take that out. Put protection from magical weapons and flow of invulnerability. Death Fog. Death Fog for casters, man. That's just worked out too well. I, I really am ashamed that I forgot to do I bet you I did it. Yep. Forgot to do it with Harry Delise. Impressive. Another spell immunity since he doesn't have a spell shield yet either. Okay. How can I help? So strength is gonna go to Thalic. Dexterity. And went 3,000 experience away. Probably strength and dex on Thalic. Magic resistance, we're going to put on Thalic as well. We're just... Because he doesn't have all the mage protections, all the priest protections, stuff like that, so... Yeah, we'll do that. So strength, magic protection. I might as well give him charisma too. So strength... Dex, Charisma, Magic Protection. Constitution. We're going to give everything to Thalic with the exception of Intelligence and Wisdom, and that'll go to Aerie. That's what we'll do. So, we're going to look at the notes again. As he tells us how to open up the gate. All right, so to open the gate, if my research is correct, pushing the triangular button, the red wheel, pulling the medium lever. Triangle, red wheel, medium lever. Simple enough. The machine of Lum the Mad appears securely fastened to the floor. The bizarre contraption has a number of levers, dials, switches, and buttons protruding from all sides. The machine hums with power, almost daring you to use it. You feel it would be wise to restrict your experiments to the, to the controls on the main operating panel, and even then, randomly flipping switches will likely result in disaster. There are three buttons, circle, square, triangle. There are three dials, red, blue, and green, and there are three levers, a long one, medium one, and short one. So it was triangle, red,
and long. The machine screeches and belches out of the cloud, fourth cloud of steam, and you brace yourself for the effect which to come. You realize Lum the Mad was aptly named. His unpredictable machine unleashes an effect on you you were not expecting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I, did I fuck that up? Triangle, red. Oh, medium. Yeah, fuck you. You need to take 15 levels from me, bitch. Triangle. Red. Medium. Man, I here's what I need to not do. I need to not wake up in the morning and first thing I do, hop in the game. The other thing, after work, maybe take a nap before playing. I'm so tired. Prevent me from doing shit like that again. Alright, Animan. We got a level 7 spell. That's amazing. Uh, okay. We're down to scribing scrolls and potions, huh? That's cool. And I have to go through this little dance of selecting a different character, hitting another button, hitting open mage bit spells, then opening the pre-spells, then going to the character so I don't crash. Holy hell. What is wrong with me? Have I just been completely forgetting to, to get my spells? Are you kidding me? Okay. So we're going to pick up two greater divine protections. I think another firestorm. Another impervious sanctity of the mind. And Emowyn. Oh god. Level 9? Level 9 spells, please? Uh Well, we're staying the course with Emowyn with the improved alacrity, the comet, time stop, all that, so we'll pick up Dragon's Breath. And then next, non-negotiable, we're picking up six, seven, and eight spells. We need them. And we finally get some level nines. Get some level nine spells. So we got time stop. God damn it, I want shape change so bad. But I cannot use Mind Flare because it'll crash. I don't hate a spell strike. Power word kill. Like they, they have to have 60 or fewer hit points. But if they're down to like 60 hit points, we're going to crush them with the men anyway. That's just not exciting to me. Monster Summoning 7 is going to summon two Ettons that are going to get two to three shot by the shit that we're fighting. That's a disappointing spell. Spell Trap is good. I mean, Spell Trap is good. But I think I'm going to go Whale the Banshee just to play with it. I don't use it often. Greater. Great. Sh uh, great Shout. I played with it. Let's take it out. Let's put in another Abidazim's Horde Wilting. Level 6 spell. And again, our, our whole shtick with this group is the women keep the nasty buff or keep the buffs off the nasty enemies and the men clean up. Because I really would like to take some damaging spells on her.
Like Odalude's Freezing Sphere, for example, if the target makes it save versus spell, however, they have dodged the orb and avoid all damage. That's just... That sucks. I think keeping my women protected is going to be the best bet. We're going to pick up a spell deflection. Okay. So we got the portal open. You hear a crackle of energy and a pop of power from the formerly inactive magical gate in the northeast corner of the room. Uh, the way down to the next level is open. Alright. So we no longer need the journal. Next. Shh. Calm before storm. Medium. Green. Triangle. It's storm in hand. Medium green triangle. Yes. I don't remember what this one is. A medium. Green. And triangle. Got a mace. Storm star plus three. 1d6 plus 4, and then 1d6 electrical. This late in the game? That's not very exciting. Okay. I mean, maybe, I don't know if we could upgrade that. I don't, I don't remember this weapon. This, I mean, this is not a terrible weapon, but I mean, we're, we're what? A hundred... 100, 100, somewhere like 110, 115 hours into the game, and I just get that plus three weapon? That's disappointing. Anyway, next. Beautiful people are short, red, and green. Is that charisma? Let's click save. Okay, 19 charisma. So short, red, and green. Yep, charisma. Boom, twenty charisma. Ah, it is good to adventure in such a place. The blood quickens, knowing that evil is so near. Next, quick and nimble. Okay, that's Dex. Quick blue square. Nimble and short. Quick, blue square, nimble and short. Am I missing one? Blue, square, short. No, there it is. Quick save in case I'm wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping over my own feet. Quick blue square. Nimble and short. So blue square short. Blue. Square. Short. Yep, there we go. Up to 17 decks. Increases our... Uh, AC by just a little. Next. No magic. This is the 5% magic resistance. Long blue green. So Thalic is at 50% magic resistant because of Karsamir. And that was long blue green. 
What is your will? Long? Blue? Green. Boom. 55. You're done. Short, medium, square makes big muscles. That's strength. Short, medium, square. Tough guy, tough guy. Constitution, I think. You know what? Alex already at one hundred sixty-two. Maybe this will be better off on Emmeline. Because I'm thinking, power word stun. I'm thinking power word kill. I don't know how many hit points it is, to be truth, to tell you the truth. I actually think I want this on Aerie. Because yes, she has the lowest pulse. hit points. So, it was... You know, quick save. Long red circle. Long, red, circle, 20 constitution. Airy gained one constitution. But her hit points did not seem to move. Balance yes. points. Yes, it did. But you didn't increase Aries? Why? Wrong. Dead. Circle. Her hit points Faster did not move. Alright, well. Yep. Gotcha. Maybe Emmeline? Long. Red. Circle. Her hit points didn't move. Right here at least. Here at least is at 114. This is faster than Okay, I know for a fact. I watched Mipson NT increase the stats of all these of everyone else. But for some reason this is only working on Phallic. Yeah, he increased. I mean, it's not. It will be done. Oh, god damn it! Smarty, smarty. Okay, long circle, blue. I'll do it. These last two, I want them on Airy. So long circle blue. She's at sixteen on all these, and she should. She should be gaining. 
actually hang on. Let me reread that. I'm all flustered. Long circle blue for intelligence. Long circle blue. Okay, she's up to 17 intelligence. And she did not gain a spell slot. Why? Yes. Circle, square, triangle. Okay, she did get a level 3 priest spot from the wisdom, or a spell slot from the wisdom. Good. So. Okay. That one worked. The intelligence wouldn't matter on Thalc. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Pick up another zone of sweet air. But the the hit point thing kind of messes with me a little bit. Alright, anyway. Well. So, yeah. That was... That was everything. And we freed up some bag space out of there, too. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, we, we're going to go ahead and end it here, because, oh, baby, got to get to work. So, yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, if you have any comments, suggestions, tips, tricks, if you know the answers to the things I was confused on, please let me know in the comment section below. And I hope to catch you all in the next one.